Hey, everybody. Welcome to Hey, hey. We're Talking. Hey, oh, hey, hey it's okay. okay. You can say, you want to say, hey, welcome to Hey, We're Talking. Do Roy, though. You have to do it right. Right. Welcome to Hey, We're Talking. <laughs> my name's Mark. Scotty D's on the other side of me, which is this side or this side. So uh, welcome along. Oh, my gosh. You do that better than me. I'm kind of worried. You no, take I don't. Spot. No, but it's, it's, the way, it's, it's the way you say it. Yeah. Hey, it's me, Scotty D. Yeah. Welcome to Hey, We're Talking. Yeah. I was watching this guy on YouTube today who does, like, cartoon voices for his job. Yeah. And I was like, man, I would love to do that. Why am I not doing that? Shoot, stop. Right right now. Give me give me something. Give me your best cartoon accent. Well, what kind of cartoon character do you want? Like a goofy one or like a... Yeah, you're like a, you're like a hyped up giraffe okay. that uh, just opened a bag of Pringles. Oh my gosh, that's really that's really specific. Okay, here we go. And we don't have bags of Pringles in the United States, by the way. They're in a oh, can. Oh, tubes, the tubes. Okay, okay, good. Yeah, I wondered yeah, if yeah. Pringles were different in Australia. That would be really weird. All right, here's a giraffe opening a, a can of Pringles. This is so yeah. stupid. Why am I doing this? And okay. you've just had three Red Bulls. And I've had three Red Bulls. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wow. I'm just opening up this pink little can of Pringles right now, and I'm so excited. <laughs> How's that? Is that good? That's good. <laughs> I'm going to regret that for the rest of my life. Oh, I reckon you will, because I'm going to cut that out when this oh goes gosh. live on Hey, We're Talking, I and know. I'm going to drop that in one of my vlogs. You should. You should. <laughs> Speaking of, so Mark is a vlogger. And uh, but he also does live streams and we hang out and talk all the time through yeah. little various places like this. But he lives how many miles away do you think it is? It's got to be thousands, right? Oh, it's got to be what? Well, 30, so you, you probably know no. kilometers, so you should do it in, in kilometers. kilometers. Yeah, I don't know. That's a far. It's far. Let's put it this way. A hundred thousand kilometers. I don't think it's that far, but you are. <laughs> so you're 15 hours ahead of me. So it's Tuesday where you are when I'm recording with this. You it's Monday here. And it's Tuesday the afternoon. 8 a.m. Yeah. So it's the afternoon here. It's four o'clock here. Yep. 8 a.m. on Tuesday there. Tuesday here. Yeah. It's it's mint outside too. Tuesday, look forward to it. It's absolutely perfect. That's that's actually the thing that you should we should always do is like, what's it going to be like tomorrow? We can just ask you. So it's going to be like. I'll just I'll just turn the camera. Out. It is sunny. Okay. It is warm. There is a slight sea breeze. Yeah, you're by the sea the, too. That's unfair. Oh, kind of. Not really. Actually, no. I'm miles away from it. I mean, how far, how far are you really? Be honest. I mean, you're saying miles away, but like the closest. From the, from, the closest water yeah. would be three kilometers, like the river. Yeah. But if I wanted to go out to the bay in the ocean, it's probably like 20 kilometers. Still. Man, dude, I'm, li- like, I'm living on a river, but like the sea is hundreds, like thousand, a thousand miles away from me at least. Oh, okay. Because I'm like in middle America. I'm in the Midwest. You're middle America. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm, so you're st- I'm slightly We all live on the middle. coast. Yeah. Australians all live on the coast. Well, it makes sense. I understand it. I mean, why, and plus in Australia, like the middle part's like not really nice, right? It's gross. It's it's desert, mountainy. Yeah. yeah. Can, kangaroos, crocodiles. <laughs> kangaroos and crocodiles? Do they, crocodiles that, aren't in the desert? No. No. But the killer emus. Dude, you, don't say that. Everything you guys have, I'm terrified. The, the I know the spiders are huge. Creaky put up this video and tagged me in it or like just tagged me in a video of some person just had a snake in their Christmas tree. What the heck is going on? No, just it's how we keep the tourists out. Have you ever have you ever just had a snake in your house? No. Okay. We we don't tend to have a lot of snakes in Tasmania. But you have the Tasmanian devil and he wreaks havoc oh, all over the he, country. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah, everywhere. Yeah. It's terrible. He's crazy. Crazy. He just spins in a circle, devouring stuff and ruining everything. Him and, him and Bugs Bunny, they're, yeah. they're rubbish. <laughs> Those two, when they get together on a Friday night, oh, you yeah, wake up terrible. and the state's a mess. <laughs> yeah. So, okay, Mark, first of all, um, you are – tell everybody about your channel. I You just kind of – you did something different starting to, 2019. You did a, a video with a, another – like collaborated with a guy. Um, he's like Victoria Drone or Vic Drone. What is he? 
Yeah, so he's a mate of mine. So previously up until the beginning of this year, I used to do weekly videos, but like daily vlogging in a yeah. weekly format yeah. for like 60 seconds each day. But this year I decided I wanted to just go back to making videos when I felt like it about a single event. Okay. I got I got sick of not telling the full story. Yeah. So yeah, a mate of mine came down from Melbourne, zipped around Tassie for 12 hours. He flew in at 9 a.m. He flew out at 9 p.m. So I drove him around 450Ks around the probably the southeast of Tasmania. Okay. Hobart up east coast. Yeah. Absolute yeah. magic day. Convertible. Beach. Ocean went swimming. I know. it was. You did a lot of amazing stuff. And I think, I know, I don't want to just boil it down to one thing, but the shot of the plane going over you is pretty much, that's the money shot for me. I loved it. Yeah. It was fun. Yeah. That's, that's why I did that as the thumbnail because yeah. I just thought that was it was perfect yeah well ever since okay so ever since Hobart Airport extended the runway so mm -hmm. you can we can now have like 747s land okay in our airport yeah um they extended the runway and where the old like the ILS system tower used to be at the front of the runway that's now gone okay and that's now like a concrete slab viewing area okay so what I didn't show in the video is if I had a turned around, there's a magic beach. Like Oh, okay. Like like twenty five meters from where I was. You've oh, got the wow. runway one side and you've got the ocean and the beach on the other. Have you ever seen so, those videos of people who go to like these beaches where the planes actually take off and get blown Saint away Martin. by the jet? Oh, oh my gosh. Videos are amazing. Why would you do that? Why wouldn't you? Why How would you get fun? hit in the face with a jet engine and get knocked over? No. Why would you ride a motorbike? Well, you don't ride a motorcycle to crash. <laughs> I mean, that's what you're, you're trying to avoid crashing the motorcycle. Look, I'm not going to lie. I think I would do that one day. Would you really? Hang onto the fence and get What if it blown blew you away and you broke your leg or something? Wouldn't you be bummed? I'm just going to. It's just going to blow me down the beach into the water. It's not as Have if it's blowing me. Have you seen people are like toppling head over heels? No. How cool. No. No. Yes. No. Yes. I That's try it. to this avoid. This over. This I, <laughs> I try to avoid being hurt. I don't like that. I don't like being hurt. Oh, okay. I, I do it safely. I do it sensibly. Okay. Put on some body oh. armor or something like that. Yeah. Maybe if you had like a skateboard helmet, although you're a biker, so you have a bike helmet. Get some yeah. elbow pads, some knee pads. No, I'd just do it. It's the sand. The sand's soft. It's like nature's pillow. I don't know, man. Every time I think everybody <laughs> thinks like it's like those people who like try and jump off of stuff onto the grass and they think they're going to be OK. And they. Oh, yeah. No, that's stupid. Earth hurts. It's not yeah. forgiving. Earth. Earth is not soft. Gravi gravity has a way of making things hurt when you slam into them. All right. Anyway, uh, gravity sucks. I don't know where I'm going with this, except for <laughs> I love the plane <laughs> shot. I did. I really did. Yeah, that was cool. <clears throat> I'm going to I think I'm going to head back there more. Yeah. I really want to go and film at the beach. But because the airport's right there, I can't obviously drone at that beach. Yeah. But the thing is, it's 40 minutes away from where I live. Like, it's not close. The airport's. A fair distance. Okay. So it's not as if I'm just going to jump in the car and pop down to the airport. Right. But that's okay. Um, I mean, you can do it on special occasions, get some good footage, right? Hmm. Hmm. Absolutely. And the other thing that we failed to mention is you said it's all nice and everything on Tuesday. It is summer for you. Yeah, that's true. We're having we're having a very mild winter right now. It's kind of crazy. Well, you, it's like 40-something degrees, which would be... I have no idea in Celsius. Let's put it this way. It's probably 80 something degrees by you in a, in Fahrenheit or maybe. Yeah, I think you said like 86 was hot there. Yeah. So right now in Hobart, it's like 20 degrees, okay. which is, was that 80? I, I don't know. Hey, Google, what's 20 degrees Celsius in Fahrenheit? 20 degrees Celsius equals 68 degrees Fahrenheit. 68. That's an, oh, that's perfect. Oh. That's beautiful. Yeah, no, it's nice. Perfect. But if but your what, 40 is like our probably like 10. 10. Yeah. Yeah, but that's our winter. Yeah. Yeah. But you're saying you haven't had any snow yet. Not yet. It's just been like no. freezing cold, but no snow. 
And it's not even freezing cold yet. That's what's so crazy. I thought when I got here, I was going to have to endure like the worst cold winter ever. And it's been very mild, which scares me, too, because that means it's coming. It's coming. Just like uh, Game of Thrones, winter is coming. I'm, yeah. I'm the only person in the world who's never seen that show, by the way. I've never seen it either. Nice. High five. Yes, from high continent five. to continent. There we go. Continent. I like it. Continent to continent. Oh, see? This is fun. No, I... I'm not in. I'm not into Game of Thrones. No, no. I think I, I think I watched the first episode and then I was like, I'm done with this. I can't do it. It's terrible. I, I oh, see. You've you've got more experience than me. When I haven't they, watched when the hu- one minute of Game of Thrones. The sister and the brother had sex, and then I was like, No, I'm done. Oh, really? I'm out. Yeah. And then they shoved a kid <laughs> out the window and killed him because he saw them. That's Something not right. Kid. Yeah. No, that's not Roy at all. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, I'm one of the few people that hasn't like invested my life into Game of Thrones, but oh well, no. whatever. Have you seen that movie? We talked about it uh, last week on Hey, We're Talking. Have you seen this movie on Netflix called Bird Box? Oh my I watched gosh. your episode last night as I was sort of drifting off into bed land. Yeah. Uh, but no, I haven't seen it. Hadn't even heard of it that that's another thing do you guys have the same like netflix as us or is it different i'm sure it's different because you probably have like australian Uh, shows on netflix no we just get so we have netflix obviously yeah but our range of shows are a lot different so sometimes it can be three months before we get a show that you might have okay where I, i can't think of what the word is but we get filtered down a lot more okay. on what we can and can't watch, I think, for our government. I wonder why they do that. Government. What I do you mean know. from your government? Like they won't let you watch certain types of shows? Well, maybe, or whether it's just um, the American industry saying we want you to wait a month or yeah. I don't know what it is. But, yeah, it can, sometimes we won't get a show. Like someone will say, oh, I just watched this when I was in America, and I'll go, well, we don't have it yet. Yeah. So it's like. It's like I think if you go back a few years when a show would come out in America, but like we wouldn't get it until the season is finished where you'd be watching it live. Yeah. I think it's the same sort of thing. We just don't get shows. Do they let you see Stranger Things? Have you heard of that? I've heard of that. haven't seen it. Okay. Is it on Netflix though? Do you know? Yes, I have seen that on okay. the Netflix. Okay. That was a big yeah. thing here too. And then – so there's actually a show – uh, this guy on your live stream kept mentioning this guy, and you were like, I don't even know who he is. You'd never heard of Chris Lilly before, huh? No. Summer Heights never High. Never heard of it. And, like, he does this. He does, like, the. <laughs> he plays all these different characters. One of them is a girl named Jemay. <laughs> and he's a comedian of some kind. But yeah. I was surprised. You guys were. You and Danny were both just like, this guy was asking about it. And you guys were like, I have no idea who that is. Creaky yeah. knew. But, Creaky knew. Yeah. Yeah, but Creaky, Creaky knows all. He's got his he's got his ear to the ground of the entertainment industry. Finger on the pulse. Yeah, there he's, you go. Yeah. He's yeah. good. Yeah, that bloke I don't know who that guy it was America versus Australia, I think, was was talking about. Yeah. That, so yeah. Yeah. And then um I watched this show on uh, a a channel here that's an Australian TV show. I think it's called Mr. Nice Guy. Have you ever heard of that? What? See? I don't you don't okay, watch TV, do you? Just be honest. No, I no. I was about to say, I I'll, I'll be honest. I watch YouTube. Yeah. I'm a YouTube consumer. I, I watch YouTube. Yeah. Consumer. That's, that's the way I'm thinking. <laughs> it's, too, it's too early here. That's um, okay. You've got your Makona. It's all good. I got, I got my Makona coffee. Some, it's not Numa coffee with no, the silent P. No. <laughs> um, <laughs> no. But it's, it's, we need a full, <laughs> you can't make me laugh. We need a full, uh, we need a full coffee lesson one day. I, because, because of you, I've purchased two different instant coffees to try them, and they're both no, rubbish need, so far. But you need Makona. It's like it's velvety and smooth. <laughs> it's just ready. Just, I got this one coffee. Ah, yeah. Makona. Yeah, I can tell you really like it. <laughs> I got this one coffee that's made with, like, mushrooms. It's supposed to help it not hurt your stomach. Like if you have that's a sensitive, not, that's not coffee. <laughs> I know <laughs> it's, <That's> not coffee. <laughs> I got it on Amazon because everybody said it was really good and I tried it. It was the worst thing I've ever had in my life. It's it, like it didn't, that. It was didn't it, taste like mushrooms it, or anything, but it just didn't taste like coffee. It reminds me of that Frasier episode when 
when Fraser's talking about the special coffee blend and it's like it's like spices and eggshells yeah. and all this stuff to yeah. make his coffee. Yeah. Mushrooms the fact have that coffee. you know Frasier, look at that. Out of nowhere, he's like, I don't watch TV, but Frasier, I know. Oh, no. Frasier, Amanda and I probably, it's um, one of Amanda's favorite shows of it's all time, so Frasier. It's hilarious. Oh. I binge watched that one year just for fun, just like on, I don't remember where it was, Netflix or something like that. And I just sat and like every day I would watch like two or three episodes of it. Yeah. And I love yeah, it. But I don't. I don't think we have Frasier on Netflix. No, I don't think it's on there anymore. It was I think at it's on the time. Stan. I think it's on Stan. What is that? What? <laughs> what is Stan? <laughs> Stan is like Netflix, but it's Australia's POV version of it. Okay. And so what the, was that word you said version? Of, what version? POV. What is POV? POV. POVO. POVO. Rubbish. Like, Dodgy. <laughs> <laughs> I can't laugh. You gotta stop making me laugh. <coughs> it's bad. But Pavo. Okay, this is good. I like this. I love learning these new words. It makes me. It makes me very happy. Uh, so it's kind yeah, of the so junky version of Netflix. Well, it's Australia's version, so it's like twenty percent quality. Uh, <laughs> it's got no programs. Uh, the streaming software drops in and out. Oh. <laughs> it takes about 30 seconds for the HD to kind of really wind up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, but you but guys hey. have internet problems all over, right? What is the deal with that? I mean, at least if you listen to Ben on it, if you listen to Gibbs a minute, all you hear oh, is all his internet his problems. Internet issues. That's, that's just a – look, he lives at a beach – What's it's not word? like it's not like right in the middle of a big city, right? So it's like not. No, it's off the beaten he path, way off the beaten path. Yeah, yeah did there you, you go. Yeah, yes. I got it. I got um, it. But he does live. But by like the for beach. me, I know. I sent him a message and I said, "Mate, who cares about your internet? You live on a beach." Exactly. He gets to go and surfing said, every day. Like literally walks like probably a hundred and fifty steps, and he's on the beach. On the beach surfing. Yeah, that's that's phenomenal. I I could do that. I could give up internet to live on the beach. That's true. Your life would probably be so much better, too, if you think about it. Although, see, you're really into YouTube. You'd be bummed. You wouldn't get to see all yeah, of but your Peter McKinnons and your... Who's your small channel? Hey, Becky and Chris. They're not small, though. They're not small. You know Have what's you funny? When you t- yes. When you talked about that, I was like, I can't believe somebody else that I know likes them. I like they them. They are... Uh, phenomenal do you know why they can't monetize no i I searched everywhere when you talked about it i was like i'm gonna find out why they can't be monetized i know like you said he's a doctor i don't know what she does but i think she does like is she just like in some kind of entertainment industry stuff does she think so i think so they mentioned it once on one of their videos over the last six months yeah but when i was putting the episode together because i knew danny was docking in Hobart, yeah. I kind of ran out of time to just start binge watching six months of their content You're right. to try and – but I, yeah, I do remember hearing it somewhere that they said they couldn't monetize and yeah. they'll never have ads on their videos, which is cool because – Yeah, who cares? Don't don't get me down the monetization path. I, I mean, It drives listen, me crazy. Let's be real. Who – I mean, I guess there's always a possibility that you could make it on YouTube, but let's be real. I mean, the, the chances are – they're not good. It's not um, good. I don't think you. The chances are not good. And it's not right. Mono, <laughs> it's not right. right this I'm, is your not right I, moment of our show. Go ahead. Yeah, and this I did this on my rant of the week a couple of weeks ago on episode seven, I think it was, when I was t- talking about monetization and how YouTube should start to fix that anybody can be monetized. Yeah. Any video can be monetized, Mm -hmm. but it doesn't get switched on until that specific video hits 1,000 views. Man, I would never make a dime. Yeah, but that's the point because I've got subscriptions on YouTube where they get 20 views, but because they're over the 1,000 and because they've got their 400 watch hours, I have to watch a bleeding ad for 30 (laughs) seconds before I even get to watch their (laughs) crap video. Uh, Yeah. But, like, for instance, like, we know a couple people that are monetized, like uh, Gina, Benon. He has videos mm. sometimes, I mean, some ads on his. And I'll actually watch the whole stupid ad just because I know it might give them two cents. That's it. But yeah. I think, I don't think you have to watch the full ad to give them money, though, do you? I think, I you think just it have helps. To, I do. And I think if you click the ad, they get more. 
Oh, so if I click on it, like, hey, I want this stupid thing that you're trying to make me I buy? I think so. I think if you go to another tab and open that specific ad. Yeah. Now, this is this is like memory from ages ago, from hearing this or seeing something about it. Okay. It may not be the case. Don't Don't hold me to that. Don't quote him. Don't quote me. <laughs> yeah. Well, then I'll start clicking, I guess. I don't know. I'm trying no, to I don't remember. To. I don't. Does Danny ever have ads on his? I can't remember. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he has. I think he has ads on his Where Is Danny Black? Yeah. But clickable ads are okay for me. I don't mind watching five to six seconds and then moving on. Right. But when I'm forced to watch a full 30 second right. unclickable ad or a mid roll ad that you can't click away. I know. Why do they do the mid rolls? Oh. It's so dumb. PewDiePie does that. And he's in the middle of a sentence and all of a sudden a, a, a ad pops in and I'm just like, dude, I mean, I know you want to make money, guy, but come on. And then YouTube, the way they figure it out. So you'll, you'll get halfway through a video, you'll get the ad, but then YouTube will go back 10 seconds and overlay where you've watched. Yeah. So you've got to watch. Oh, it's probably not 10 seconds. That's exaggerating, but probably five seconds. Yeah. So you like. Well, at yeah. least then you know where you were. I get it. But it's annoying. I don't like the mid roll. Cut it out with the mid roll. Do you watch PewDiePie ever? Never. Never. Really? I tried. I tried him after Creaky got onto me. Uh, he said, "Oh, you'd, you'd really like PewDiePie. I think your character kind of matches up with him. I think you'd really enjoy it. You'd like so some I went of and, stuff." I went and gave it a go, and I'm like, "Oh, this dude's crazy." It's the he's, stuff. It's only like if he's talking about games and stuff, it's kind of boring. But if because, you know, I'm an old man, so I'm not super into gaming. Although, by the way, I never told you this I, because of you. I went and got Red Dead Redemption 2. Yeah. And I haven't really done too much. I'm still in the story. We're like, I should have like, put it in my affiliate. <laughs> we're in the uh, we're like on horses and we killed a bunch of guys in this thing. And I and I stopped. I don't know why. I just never went back to it because I'm not a huge gamer. But I was like, I'm going to yeah. try this because Mark thought it was like so excited about it. It's an awesome game. Is it mostly They've, for the online play, though? Is that why people like it? Or do you just like well, the story? Well, here's the thing. So they brought out online play recently. I can't get into it. I was I was pumped about it. Yeah. But I think the... the uh, I, I can't get into it. I like the story mode and going through the yeah the the story mode. I think okay. simply I think I like the story mode better because well, the the story mode you can keep playing the story or you can just free roam and just do your own stuff. Yeah, except and like, for that guy will you, yell at you if you don't follow him. Oh yeah, there's a few people that'll yell at you. Come race me on my horse. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the thing the thing that I heard though is it's like if you get a couple of friends together and you play in the online then you can go around and do stuff together it's kind of like I used to play with these guys on Grand Theft Auto like we would just go around you know and on that game you just go around and just create havoc and try and get away from the police yeah yeah so, so, so I, the idea of online excuse me that's okay is to get a posse together yeah and go around and, and just create try havoc. And take towns yeah. and Flog stuff and yeah. Yeah. It is yeah. fun because on video games, you can be yeah. really super evil and kill people and do stuff that you can't do in real life. Yeah, but okay. So for me, I, I've got two. <laughs> I like I've got two like, mates. Yeah, sort of, but. <laughs> but for me, yeah. so I've got two mates that play this game. Uh -huh. And when you're playing in story mode, depending on how you play, your little meter on the bottom of the screen is either for the people. Or you're like a mega crim. What's a crim? Right? Oh, a criminal. Sorry oh, for those sorry. playing playing in podcast. I thought maybe that's what it was, but okay. See, uh, see, in Australia, we're so busy, we shorten everything. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's true. Are you guys no, busier than Americans? Making... Americans are always busy doing something, and not me, but most Americans. Oh, that's the same as me. I think some Australians are busy, but I'm not. <laughs> I do everything I can not to be busy. And everybody else no, I, know. I know is like, yeah, I got up at 5 a.m. And I did like four hours of working out. And then I went to work. And and I'm just like, why yeah. are you doing that? Yeah. <laughs> I don't understand. I'm going to make that rides to work. He's like, oh, yeah, that, that way I get a ride to work. And I go to the gym and then I have a shower and then I go to work. I'm like, why? 
Why? <laughs> Why are you getting up an hour earlier when your car will get you there in five minutes? <laughs> oh, so he rides his bike to work. Yeah. Oh, gosh. I don't want to. First of all, I don't want to be sweaty when I get to work either. If I have a That's job, thing. like you got to dress up or whatever, I don't want to be all sweaty. Because here's the thing. When you work out, if you go and have a shower straight away, you can't get the sweat off no, you. You're, you're going to keep hot. sweating, right? You've got to cool down for half an hour before you can have a shower. To, and then he's going to ride his bike again. And he's going to get he's sweaty He's going to ride again. home. Yeah, and ride and like home. In, and in Tasmania, the weather is... Uh, known professionally as four seasons in one day. Okay. So you can ride to work in absolute mint schmick weather. Yeah. But by the time you come home, it's blizzards. So, yeah. yeah. Well, you just leave your bike to work and catch a taxi home. I don't know. I don't know anything about that because I would never do it. I have done, <laughs> when I used to work at a proper business job, I actually did get up and go work out in the morning sometimes. And yep. I would, you feel really good up until... Oh, I just lost Mark. That's okay, though. Oh, it's his camera. Oh, it was your camera. <laughs> I was like, oh, I just lost him. But it was like a perfect black screen. So I thought, oh, you know what? Maybe he's still there. Well, that's mean it's been half an hour. I know. It's pretty close. We're pretty close. Yeah. I'm going overtime yeah. because you're special. Um, We probably haven't even talked about anything that's on your notepad right there. I don't really. I sort of had something here. But we no, did I was talk kind of about winding you stuff. up to be more professional than you are. <laughs> oh yeah, I have a list of things I'd like yeah, to accomplish <laughs> during the show today, and uh, we weren't able to get to all of them, but we will eventually get to those. For those uh, in podcast land, he's got a uh, full professional teleprompter. He's got a running no, sheet. No, yeah, for YouTube, can see him nodding, and shaking his head, going, "Ah, uh, no." <laughs> uh, okay, so listen, I'll wrap it up, and then we'll yeah. talk to you again. But. I love talking with you. We have fun just talking oh, about this stuff. Awesome. We could keep awesome. going for a long time, but I'll cut this one short and we'll come back and talk again. Thank you for joining, Mark. I appreciate it. And we'll talk to you again. No problem, mate. I, I don't know. Probably this week. Soon. Yeah, yeah probably. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good day. Play the music. Yeah. Play the music. Music out. See ya. See ya.